Greetings and welcome to a video that's not an LGR Plays, because I have decided to do a review of this and this being The Sims 3 Roaring Heights. This is the latest store town to be released on The Sims 3 store under the towns section. Though they call it a world, but technically it's not a world, it's a town. A world would be much larger. Nomenclature aside, this is... I've lost count. I don't know how many towns they've released for The Sims 3 so far through the store, but man, there've been a lot of them, and this is just as expensive as most of the other ones. The normal one is available if you buy it for 20 US dollars in the standard bundle, which comes with the world and 100 sim points. Or you can get the gold bundle, which costs 35 US dollars, comes with the world 1900 sim points, and the boardwalk attire item set. And that is attire that can be worn anywhere, not just the boardwalk or under the boardwalk. Out of the sun, under the boardwalk, we'll be having some fun. Nope, it's just clothing. And as you might be able to guess from some of these images, as well as, ooh, holy crap video, content ID be darned. Yes, I'm still gonna show video. Screw you guys at YouTube screwing all this crap up and Google and whoever else. Man, <clears throat> anyway, this is the town that looks like this. It's a city that is more or less like 1920s to 1940s art deco styled stuff with a little bit of influence of Los Angeles and maybe a bit of Miami and Atlantic City in there too. Lots of funky colors and pastels and oh yeah, I like this. I like this a lot and there's a reason I wanted to review this and didn't really want to review the other ones and that is because this excites me. You know what? This is probably the most appealing town to have come out so far. One of my favorite towns to have come with anything in The Sims 3 was the one that came with Late Night, Bridgeport. And I was also a big fan of the user-made town Cetra, which is also very similar. And this, well, yeah, it's, it's kind of like those with some new stuff added. And you know what? I just think this is sweet. I mean, look at this. Look at these buildings. Look at these trees and all this stuff with the stuff everywhere all over that stuff. I mean, this stuff is nice or something. And just completely disregarding the price, this aesthetically is 100% entirely worth it. I'm just going to go ahead and say it up front just because of the look of this place. I love it. The buildings look awesome, these parks look awesome, the streets look awesome, the boardwalk kind of beachy area here looks freaking awesome. I mean, I just, I think this is cool. That's all there is to it. It may not be the biggest town, but you know what? It's, it's actually pretty big. There's 97 total lots, uh, 35 commercial, 21 of them are empty, and then you got 41 residential lots. And of course, if you were to pay even more and pay for the uh, $19 related content thing, which would be the boardwalk itself. Yes, this doesn't actually come with the boardwalk. That kind of sucks. And it can be placed anywhere, but it's made for this town specifically. Yeah. Anyway, it comes with oh, huh, all this freaking awesomeness. I mean, roller coasters. Uh, well, pretty much just roller coasters. Just seeing Duke Nukem ride around in a roller coaster being a doofus. That's fantastic. Ride in rails of steel. And I like roller coasters, and I miss Roller Coaster Tycoon and Sim Theme Park and whatnot. However, there are a few disappointing things about this, <laughs> um, especially for $19. Uh, yeah, these merry-go-rounds are not merry-go-rounds at all. They look like them, but they're not. They're just bouncy horse things that make a little bit of noise. Nothing rotates, nothing happens. It's really, really stupid. And there's the roller coasters themselves, which, while you can make them, uh, they're not exactly very involved in what you can do with them. They pretty much just go at one speed. The uh, designs don't really seem to affect anything except some basic animations. And it's probably the clunkiest, least intuitive roller coaster creation I have ever seen in a game, period. And that's just due to the limitations of The Sims 3's object placing thing. I mean, you could figure it out, but it's just, uh, eh. It should not have taken me 15 minutes to make this coaster, but it did. That said, there's plenty of other stuff to enjoy here. Uh, I mean, look at these freaking houses. Holy crap, this is cool. It reminds me of, I don't know, of, of cool things. Inside and out, the art deco design of these homes and whatever else the modernist kind of thing is that's going on here is just awesome. Another thing that you get that's pretty cool, although, yeah, whatever, it's okay, is the classically cool fixer-upper car. Uh, this is a car that looks like garbage at first, and 
well, it kind of is. You just sort of click on it a bunch of times and eventually it'll transform into a regular car. So you can kind of roleplay being a dude from Fast and Loud or some crap like that, which is cool. I mean, I really, really like fixing up older cars, and honestly, I would love a game where you did nothing but that, but this has no actual hands-on involvement. You just click Repair Engine or Repair the Body, and that's it. Like, it'll be done after about one and a half sim days of constant work. Still, though, it's cool that it's here, and you can also now woohoo in the car. And I approve. And yeah, you can even do it when the car is just a completely rusted out piece of junk. So you can get tetanus along with your crabs. This is just great. They thought of everything. And lastly, well, not exactly lastly, but pretty much the last thing that I'm going to be talking about is the fact that it comes with clothes. Not a ton. Oh yeah, it comes with hair too. You get like a hat for dudes. And some rather appropriate early 20th century female hair. Deck your sims out in some flapper attire and mobster clothing and man, prancing around this town they look like they mean some business. Some serious noir stuff up in here. I think it's awesome. Except for one little tiny minor issue, and that is the fact that everything else in the game doesn't really fit. <laughs> it looks really out of place as a result. Everything else just seems like really anachronistic, and I guess that's just kind of how it goes, but it's really weird when you're in like a really cool neon lit art deco bar, and you go downstairs and there's a guy on his laptop playing Burnout Paradise. It really bothers me that much. I guess I could just mod out the stuff that's a little bit anachronistic, but you know, whatever, I'm not uh, inclined to do that because I don't care enough. And honestly, the town is more than enjoyable enough for me to get a real kick out of it. However, as always, the price is insane. So, I would completely recommend it, except for the cost. <laughs> so if you don't mind paying as much for this as you would for an entire expansion, and actually more if you include the Boardwalk pack with it, then yeah, go ahead and grab it. Otherwise, just wait for a sale or something on Origin, or maybe it'll come out in a store eventually. Either way, definitely check this one out, and screw YouTube's stupid policies right now because I'm really wary of this video getting flagged for copyright crap. But you know what? I like doing these videos, I'm gonna keep making them, and thank you all for watching. Did you enjoy something about this video? Well, I've got plenty more on The Sims 3 and a bunch of other stuff too. Click one of these video clips and it'll take you to them. Or just click subscribe, because I put out a new video every week and there's a ton more coming. And as always, thank you for watching.